At Edinburgh World Heritage, we don't just think of conservation as conserving an object like you might in a museum, but about how you look after a whole city and how those objects sit within it. In the last year, we've looked at repairing shop fronts, tenements, we've looked at public spaces, and of course, one or two wonderful set pieces. Our vision is of a World Heritage site that benefits everybody in this city, that is a force for good. We believe that in connecting people to their heritage, we can create those links across the generations, and that is the best way of ensuring its long-term and sustainable conservation. Here we are in Nidri Street, in front of St Cecilia's Hall, which is Scotland's oldest purpose-designed concert hall, built in 1763 by Robert Milne. The work here is now finished and we have a wonderful completed project. We can't achieve our conservation goals without our partners, in this instance the University of Edinburgh, but also with other communities and building owners throughout the city. My name's Kate Gray and I'm Director of Collective, a visual arts organisation that's currently redeveloping the City Observatory on Carton Hill. Well, we're about three quarters of the way through our building project now. Some of the details are going in, like the transit slot glazing behind me. We've had a very good working relationship with Edinburgh World Heritage. I feel very privileged that we're able to have that relationship with them and get the conservation needs of these buildings absolutely right. Maxi's Cafe is a neighbourhood cafe, been established for 20 years. Yeah, nearly 20 years. And our windows, unfortunately, although they were beautiful and we loved them, they were crumbling. I've embarrassed myself in a few phone calls to Edinburgh World Heritage when I've literally been weeping on the phone because uh, I just didn't think there was any help. Quite often the customers come in and ask, you know, what's happening with your windows? So, you know, we tell them that it's yeah. actually being funded by Edinburgh World Heritage. And I think people are quite glad to know that there is a company out there that's sort of looking after Edinburgh's interests, you know. So the idea of Edinburgh's 101 objects was to tell the story of the city in a new way to new audiences. We worked with over 40 different partners to select an intriguing list of objects that tell the story of our great city. We really want people to get out and about to explore the World Heritage Site and learn about what makes Edinburgh such a special place. Edinburgh World Heritage has been active in the past year, celebrating Edinburgh's great beauty, safeguarding what it stands for, and protecting its status as UNESCO World Heritage Site. We're also busy repairing and keeping Edinburgh in good order. Now, we can't do this without you. Your support, both moral and financial, is essential to that task. It's thanks to the staff, though, and to my colleagues on the board, but especially the staff, that this work can continue. We're privileged to live in one of the world's greatest, most beautiful cities. Please help us to ensure that remains the case.